But what I want to do is show you guys how to kind of get that gravity point of the haircut to the center. You want to find kind of where you want this triangular shape to sit. So what I'll do, I'll kind of comb the hair forward and then I'll take a look in the mirror and see exactly where I want that weight to start being removed and where I want it to build up to. So now what I'll do is I separate the front and the back. So right here down to the ear, that's separated. And then I'm gonna go right here in the front and I'm gonna decide where do I want to bring that taper up to. We go about right here. I'm gonna comb this hair over, part it and then I'll slide a clip up on it. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the side. All right, and I'm not worried about the back so much right now. Behind the ear, kind of that follow the hairline up, that's about where I'll stop. Now I'm gonna blow dry underneath here. I'm gonna keep this wet on top because I'm gonna be cutting that in my hands. Now, as I go in and clipper, I'm just gonna pull away right around the ear. So I'm not gonna take this all the way up. I'm not trying to go that tight all the way through this haircut, just around these edges. And I'm gonna start off right here and then just flip my wrist out. And I get up to that line. So in and out. And then we'll continue into the back. And basically what I wanna do is I'm holding this weight line here back into the back in that occipital bone area. So I'll flip out right when I get to that point. First off, I use a wider tooth comb to do my rubber comb work. As I work up the head, I'm gonna start here, start removing some of this bulk, and then I'll go back through and fine tune it a little bit more. I actually wanna bring this weight line as close to the head as possible, so then I can start my triangular feel. So going nice and close to the head, so you can kinda of see how that's starting to blend up. Key thing with scissor over comb, is to really just keep the one blade up against the bone of the comb, so just like that, and then you close down. And you work up the section, the hair gets fed into the comb, and then you cut down on the hair. You don't wanna be chomping at it like this, because then you'll start pushing hair or cutting hair weird. This keeps it more mechanical. I'm gonna let this top out, not because I'm gonna start cutting it right away, but I kinda wanna see how it's all falling together. Basically what I'm going to do to cut this faux hawk is I'm going to start by creating a guide right here, going short to long, and I'm going to start bringing everything over to that point. I'm going to travel a little bit towards the beginning, and when I get about midway between center back and behind the ear, I'm going to stop and I'm going to start over directing to the center because I want to start building up weight in the background. Now a key move would be to start point cutting from that short point to the long. This new section is gonna go halfway to the previous. Now we're halfway there. So all these continued new sections till I get to center back, go right to that section. Okay, so now that pushes some of the weight here to the bottom of the bone area. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, then I'm gonna blend that. Now the very center of this section is the longest point. But when you look at it, it can start to give us this kind of mohawk feel in the back from a short to long point. So I comb it down, I got a nice blend on both sides, rounded feel to it, but I can just take this little point and cut in just to blend it a little bit more so it's not disconnected, it doesn't look like a tail. Now we're gonna go into the front. How do we get this triangular shape on the top? I'm gonna take center parting, just like this. And we're gonna start by cutting the right side. Our guide is gonna come from this back point we cut prior, so that becomes section one, right? This is all of our sections. What I do is I cut one, and that's now my guide. Then once you cut one, and you grab section two, you pull section two back to one and a half. If I pulled section two all the way back to one and cut it, now section two is a lot longer then section one. Then I pull three back to two, and it's even longer than two. Then all of a sudden, you end up with a line that quickly goes like this. Your lengths start shorter and they quickly get long. The way that we're trying to do this is because I bring it back, you're gonna get more of a line that looks like this. Still a triangular line, still has kind of a, an upward effect to it, but it's not like this, which is too much length if you start over directing too much. I'm gonna cut short to long, longest part being in the center. Now the cool thing about a faux hawk is it doesn't need to be super long. I'm gonna bring this section halfway back to the, to the guide. I'm gonna continue doing that. Take a new 
section, bring it halfway back to the back. See that angle. Short, shorter, longer. Now all this came back to the previous guys, but here's the thing. It came back to the previous, but once you get to the front of the head, the head starts to curve away. So the over direction becomes more extreme, even though you're not really doing it. That's why I don't like to start over directing back too quickly. Um, so you can see nice smooth transition through. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So now, like you would imagine, the longest point is in the very front. I'm gonna blow this dry. This is long, it's longer than I want it to be. I wanna go through and I wanna cut the top here and I wanna take quite a bit of weight or length out of the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow it dry real quick, get it nice and smoothed out. And then that will allow me to really see the overall shape as well. Now that I have my overall shape, I don't really have to be so perfect in everything that I do. I can literally lift this hair up. You can see the point right there. In that point, I'm gonna point cut into it. Don't make that point go away. Just point cut into it to soften it. Uh, you can also remove a little bit of that length if you want. Same thing, opposite side. Just pulling up some of this hair. So like, I create this pretty blunt line using more precision cutting techniques. And all I wanna do is just take the edge of that blunt line and soften it. If I were to point cut a wet line, it would be chunky. If I just wanna soften a line, I do it dry because the hair becomes more separate. All right, so now what do we do with this front length? What I like to do is just kind of mess around with the hair, move it together in my hands, and if it'll actually like stay up with just a little twist of the hair, then I know it's at a pretty good length. That's if they wanna wear it up. So I'll hold this hair up, I'm gonna go off to one side, and I'm actually gonna remove some length from this, so I'll shift my scissor over just a little bit, like this, and I'll cut up through. Now that we've got everything laying flat in front of the head, I'm gonna come in here, I'm just gonna slide and cut. So I got Tri-Razor, right? Tri-Razor has three different cutting sides. What I wanna do is I wanna create a little extra pop of texture in this cut. So I like to take diagonal partings, stick the Velcro clip in the hair like this, see how well it holds the hair back. And then I can take my Texture 25 side of the Tri-Razor, hold the hair in my hand, and I'll just take that Texture 25 side and work it through either mid-shaft or towards the base, depending on how thick their hair is. You just slide it down, and you remove 25% of the hair. And I'll do this all over my guy's hair this creates all of that like kind of jagged up and down movement throughout the haircut. And I love doing that on this edge of a triangular haircut because it just skinnies it up even more. And then I'll take a little bit of product, fingertip full together in my hands. And then what I like to do is start with my fingertips and kind of work the product in the hair. If you go right in with your hands all in the hair, you're gonna get too much product in one spot. 